Hello everybody, it's SD Mad Haven here today, and we're actually going to be using the actual replay system to take a look at a match. So, I wasn't recording at the time this match did happen, and I thought it would be a great time to try out the replay system to see how we can make it work, and if it's even worth using, or if it's just too complicated. I, I use it occasionally to make thumbnails, you know, I'll go through, get a nice good spot for a tank, take a screenshot, come over, edit, get everything set up, and, you know, make make a fancy looking thumbnail. You know, it's gotta be fancy. But, I've never really used the replay system to go over a tank and to show it off. So, we are in the IS-7 for this match. So, the number one thing that I'm not a big fan, that's not what I wanted to do, is the aiming. You, you don't get to see the reticule, you don't get to see much, plus it's also a little bit off. The gun's a little bit more to the right than it normally is. So, usually when we're using the replay system, it's not exactly the greatest. So, our ammo loadout today, we are running a full premium set loadout. And that's just because I'm getting used to it inside the IS-7, because this is a tank I use for comp matchmaking which we will be doing a little bit more comp this upcoming uh, couple of weeks, starting in June. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it, so it's going to be pretty fun. Now, we can do next camera and completely exit the tank, which is going to take quite some time to learn to be able to go over and use it. But starting off, we do come to this position. We are going to try and get a shot off down to a tank that's further down. I'm clicking all the wrong. I wonder if I can remap that. That'd be cool. So, coming up, the team, the way that they're loaded out, we already have enemies across the entire... Wait, that's our team. That's me. Why is it like that? It's so confusing. Oh, well, I'm done. Because <laughs> then the second you lock onto our tank, and then it just says all of our teammates are enemies. Yeah, this is confusing. But you know what? Just know that the greenies this time are the enemies, and the red is the team kind of confusing to put it that way but it, it, it is that way so taking a slow putting a 493 into a what was oh my gosh centurion 71 straight through the turret because we are firing premium and with 303 base penetration on the is7 yeah it works out like that quite a bit 303 base penetration full premium loadout and we're still gonna go positive extremely positive nonetheless which Honestly, I don't think should be the case whenever you use full premium loadouts. You should not be able to go full positive. It should be more like you barely break even or you're staying caught up and yeah, just barely breaking even. <laughs> oh, dying over here. So taking a shot from the artillery coming down, we got T-57 that just barely put a couple of rounds out. Or is that the T-77? Okay, that's our T-77. T-57 heavy coming up from down low. SU-130 PM taking a shot from the T-57 and the bat chat putting in the final round to take him out and our T-77 is going to take three shells and an artillery hit. We're still looking nice and healthy with 2,053 hit points. So I am going to actually disconnect the camera here. We're just going to follow me around a little bit with the camera. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But T-57, I know that he's on reload so I'm just going to sit out in the open take my time because I know that I can get one more shell in in the time it's going to take him to reload. Backing off to relocate just a tad bit because I don't want to sit around that T-57. I kind of want to try to pull up, see if we can get some shots on the guys on top of the hill along with that if we're able to shoot anything down further right. And we spot out the Centurion 7-1 once again to be able to get a shot into him. He tries to snap fire us but ends up hitting the dirt. And even if the shell did make contact with the tank, it would have been an auto ricochet just because it's an IS-7. And it's going to be very difficult to get that. So, flipping around, we did take a shell from the T-57, sad face, right into our rear. Which, the bullet mark's not even showing up. But whenever I saw it, it was right on the corner there. So, yeah, it's still not... This is funky, you guys. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, if you give it some time, I can get it down really good, but it would take a minute. So, Waffle Pencil 4 taking a shot. I am not going to be pulling out because I, I remember that there was a Waffle E100 up there, and along with that Waffle, there's also a Panzer IV. So, rather than pulling out, I'm just going to want to flip around the map here, come up the center, which is going to be the best choice I can possibly make, 
And we see that the waffle's now readjusting to be able to come over or if he's going to try to cut down the center or not, whatever. So we're aiming right. We do have some shots or we're trying to get shots. But we don't get anything. Down to 18 APCR left. So we're going to put one shell for 490 into the waffle panzer four. We're going to pull off to the right because we don't want to overexpose ourselves. And now in, in this position here, you know, I, I had a choice. It was either I went up the right side or I take on the Waffle Panzer IV head on and I just deal with the consequences. And as I take another shell coming from behind, I now know that I just barely spotted out the Waffle Panzer IV as well. It's time for me to play extremely aggressive. So now we're loading in the high explosives and we're not going to be hesitating on this. We're going to come straight in and we're going to take our time to focus out this Waffle Panzer IV and the Waffle E100. Down the 486 hit points left. We used our four high explosives on the Waffle Panzer IV, and we got every single one of them to penetrate, which, honestly, it could have not gone any better than what it did. Now, down the 486 hit points, so this Waffle Panzer IV is using the big gun, which, judging by his fire rate, he is not. He's using the 128. So we can actually... Pull around here. We're trying to get a little bit of a slant on our armor to be able to take a shot into the top right of the Waffle Panzer IV and not worry too much about, you know, what's going on. Now, trying to back off, he does bounce a shell straight off of our turret there, which, not gonna lie, I was uh, a little excited about. And, you know, the match, it, it was a long match. It. It felt long, because for me, I was in the fight most of the match. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the fast forward here. And I do know that you kind of got to swap around a little bit, because if this menu closes, my D-pad is not exactly liking me too much. But coming up top, so... Forgot. Something on the left just got absolutely annihilated. Popped up red. I didn't see what it was. But down to a 4-3, to three. and originally our team was losing. So we were losing in the center. It was me left and just a couple. So we're going to be coming up, putting a shot into the bat chat. 55, 155-58. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that thing. You see these inside tier 10 and they just give you a bad day. So from where we're located, we have got a really good haul down position. We're going to be taking taking a snapshot that was a snapshot rb auto lock straight into that tank and along with that the artillery is coming back so we're just taking it slow we just decide to sit still aim in our shot because he has to wait for his aim time to come up i don't know if he fired or if he was waiting for a reload or if he was in his interclip reload um i do not know the interclip reload of the bat chat it's like five seconds it's really quick but then we have a full health E100 on the enemy team that's just sitting there. And just, you know, at the top board there, uh, the red is my team. The green is the enemy team. This is confusing. They need to fix this replay system. And, oh, yeah, definitely. They need to fix the replay system. But the E100, full health, surrounded. And earlier in the match, we had a massive amount of tanks on this side. So even though I only have 486 hit points left and the E100's up front, we're just going to be taking it slow. Now that he's trapped, so he's got a tank over on his right, which is the M48-120. And then up behind us, we also have a T-30 tank destroyer. He, he doesn't want to move. So I line up, put a shot into the uh, top of the ridge of the tank. Just nice, simple penetration because, you know, premium rounds. No problem there. And another one. I mean, it's just, it's it's slow. It was just he sat there. And even though he only has the 128 on that tank, the 128 is still an absolutely fantastic tank. It is absolutely amazing. There's nothing that can really match that tank. And coming out of the match, we did 8,998 damage. And now, depending on 
we can get the end game score screen if it pops up. I actually went back and I already took care of that. So yeah, we can jump over, take a look here. So we got a top gun with almost 9,000 damage, 24 direct hits and 3,859 blocked. Along with that, that was a mastery badge, high caliber, still wall, top gun, and we maintained our third mark. Overall, IS-7, absolutely monstrous tank, extremely hard to go up against if you're versing someone who knows how to play the tank. And so we can come over, jump up into this menu here, which is the... Okay, you know what? Full screening, while not having the area selected that you need selected, doesn't work out too well. This one worked out well. Okay, so... IS-7, we're not going to be taking a look at dispersion values, we're not going to be taking a look at DPM, none of this matters. But we can look at the damage, the top speed, and the reverse speed. So top speed, 59.6. You normally don't hit 59.6 unless you're driving slightly downhill or you know, you're getting a push up on the center ground against a tank that has got better power to weight. Along with that, your standard shells have 900 shell velocity, which is not bad. But the premium rounds in this tank get 1,125 with 303 base penetration, while the AP rounds only have 250. The high explosives, we're looking at 68 millimeters of pen, 640 damage, which is what made the big difference over on the um, E100, the waffle E100 that is. So the absolute nightmare to go up against if they're using it correctly. And if you guys didn't notice, we did ricochet all three rounds from that waffle as we were playing aggressive against it. And that's where a lot of our ricochet came from. So 400 base view range. This thing is an absolute monster to society. So coming over, let's take a look at the 3D model here over inside the live menu. That bottom pike right here, it is an auto ricochet angle. There's nothing going through it, especially if you max out your six degrees of gun depression which we were utilizing our six degrees of gun depression quite a bit. And that turret is absolutely thick. It is just extremely difficult to go up against. So we can do a quick comparison. Let's say the 113. 113 is going to have some really nice heat pen for 340 millimeters. And even with that, it's only a 29.8% chance to be able to go through that cheek. But now that it's over on console and console has readjusted the penetration values, it could be a lot higher. You could be looking at a 50% to a 45% chance. But still, the chances of actually high rolling for the 374 needed to go through that cheek, especially from long distance. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult to get your hands on that shot. So, IS-7 all around. If you guys are looking to grind this thing out, I still need to do a review on it. And today I just felt like trying out the replay system, and that was a replay that I missed and felt like going over and trying to get my hands on. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about the replay system. It, it doesn't seem bad. It's a little confusing just because they have it all mixed up. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to be starting a absolute... <sighs> I'm going to be a fire starter over on the forums talking about the replay system to see if we can try and get it reworked just a tad bit. It'd be really nice to see it reworked just a little bit. So, yeah. You guys, have a fantastic day. I will catch you all later. Um, brain, it's farting. It's over. You guys, that was a match. Super good match. Well, yeah, my monologuing still continuing. Have a great day. I'm out of here.